Welcome to TechBridge Innovations and uh, in this video we are going to learn how to find out the price of a bond using the NWT formula. In previous video we have learned how to find the price of a bond uh, using the manual uh, the present value of cash flows. So the price of a bond is actually the present value of cash inflows as we discussed earlier. So we can use the NWT formula to find out the present value of all those cash flows in one go. So uh, the formula is uh, present value is the R means the recurring payment multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus I over M. I is the discounted rate, M is the coupon frequency and N is the number of periods or number of coupons and I over M is the same that is yield divided by the coupon frequency and FV is the single payment future value that you are getting in the uh, maturity so that is the redemption value and 1 plus the same thing. So let's apply this here. So we will calculate the price of the same bond that we found in the previous video and check out whether we are getting the exact same answer or not. So the formula will be equal to the uh, coupon payment that means the regular interval payment that we are getting and then times first bracket and then in an, another bracket I want to calculate this numerator separately. So I will write 1 minus and then bracket open and 1 plus 1 plus the uh, rate of interest 1 plus the YTM and then divided by the frequency because we need to adjust that bracket close power negative number of payment number of payment is here and then bracket close so we have calculated the numerator this numerator and now we will divide that by the denominator and denominator is i over m so i in this case is the yield and m is the frequency frequency is 4 bracket close and then large bracket close so this is the first bracket that we have calculated and now we will add the redemption pre present value of the redemption value so redemption value times 1 plus rate of interest or discounting rate that is yield divided by coupon frequency that is 4 to the power of the uh, negative and number of payments that is 20 in this case. So we are getting the exact same answer. So this is how we calculate the price of a bond using a single NVT and single uh, payment formula. So this is very useful if you don't want to show this whole table and just want to find out the price. So that's it for this video and in next video we will learn how to calculate the price using the PV formula.